So the first game we're going to have a look at is a game by unknown developer. I, I'm serious. I don't know who the developer is. I know that the game is called Gravity Forge. And that's about it. Honestly, I had to like even the little poster that I make ahead of time. I don't I didn't have uh, any key art for them. There's not even a Steam page. Right. And I couldn't really find I didn't do a super, super deep dive. And it was kind of hard to do without knowing who the developer was. I tried to search for it online, but I couldn't really find anything. So we don't know the name of the developer. There's no Steam page. I heard about this on Reddit under the Indie Games sub. Um, that's it. That's all I know. Maybe I'll go back there and see if there's any more posts on that thread just to see if I can get some more information. The only thing I do know is they have a Twitter account, although it's a month old. So this is Gravity Forge, and there's a little bit more information in the description. Gravity Forge is a dynamic, non-linear third-person shooter that redefines how you interact with the game world. Imagine using a gravity well grenade to destroy enemy cover and create new routes or routes. I never know how to say that so many different ways. Every part of the environment is a potential tool or obstacle, depending on how you manipulate it. And the best part, it's co-op. You can team up with your buddy against the enemies. So when I saw this um, gameplay reveal, the first thing I thought was the next time somebody starts to crap on indie games, and say, well, they're not as good as AAA. They don't look as good as AAA. This is going to be one of the ones that I show them. All right. Without any further ado, you've been patient enough. Let's have a look. And we got hair movement with the slow-mo really shows it. And it, it feels like Max Payne meets bullet hell. <laughs> I wonder what that is. It looks like a it looks like a great big blimp. Oh, that's that gravity grenade. A gravity well grenade. And this is just so whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta go back to that for a second, because I've seen that before in um, another game I haven't played, but I've heard a lot of good things about called control. There was something I wanted to see because there's a point where it looks like she's on the wall. Where is it? I'm just going to play through. Yeah, it looks like she's on the floor and then she walks backward and she's climbing the wall. That is neat. Oh, and there's another different type of bad guy there with a three barrel machine gun. Hmm. But everybody else kind of looks like a sort of like a zombie type drone, just mindlessly following. And now that is something I saw. Don't know what that is, but it looks like it either allows her to cling to surfaces so she can walk up walls or whatever, but it also allows her to jump kind of high. But there's, this is, I guess, where the co-op comes in because there's another, um, Another player, looks like a player, because it looks exactly like her, playing over here. So, yeah, the two of them. And they they kind of look exactly the same. I'm sure that's something that will change later on. There'll be uh, ways of distinguishing them. Again, I don't even know how far this game is in development, so who knows. Okay, so she went from the wall, and she was singing. I just want to understand here what's happening. So she's... What the hell? That is so... Oh man, that's disorienting. I'm sure I'd get used to it if I played it, but... Slow-mo bullet time. I want to know what that big thing is. It looks like a frigate from TIE Fighter. But yeah, that's Gravity Forge. If I know anything, if I find anything out about it, I'll let you know. I'm following them on Twitter and I'm on the indie, uh, indie game subreddit. So if there's any more information about it, I'll be sure to share it with you. And 
hopefully they have more information in the Steam page or something, or what at least let people know what platforms this is going to be released on, because I can see this getting a lot of people's attention. For a game that of an unknown development status, it really looks polished. And this is all gameplay. There's no cinematic uh, element to this. So really fascinated, really interested, and I will stay on top of this as much as I can.